The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 16. NASDAQ is flat. S&Ps are down 350. We have the uh, gold contract down a buck 90, trading 13.27. Silver's off seven cents. $17.71. Platinum's down 14 at 9.70 an ounce. Copper, copper a flat 2.94 an ounce. Uh, pound rather an ounce, that'll be a trip. <laughs> <laughs> you get the uh, oil market trading uh, flat $49.94 a barrel. Notes, 10 year note up two tick, down two ticks, 126.10. 30 year bond up to 155.01. And king dollar, king dollar down 427 ticks, trading 91.685. We got option expiration. You have uh, missiles flying and you get terrorists and the market it just doesn't care. I know. Yeah. Um, it's it's pretty pretty wild watching it. Is. it. Uh, you know, I, I was listening to your update at the nine o'clock update, and there's no doubt uh, what you had here, folks, is that uh, right at six o'clock last night, six six fifteen. Yeah. Um, you know, you had the missile fly. S and P's got down. So you had North Korea firing a missile over Japan. Right. To put it all in context. That that stayed down all of about uh, two hours. Um, <laughs> and if we take a look at it, uh, what you're going to see is. And the missile actually traveled pretty far. Um, yeah. Which puts Guam in its, right. you know, capabilities. Right. And so there's a lot there in terms of firing it over an ally, firing it with capabilities that can reach pretty far. He needs rogue, some attention. Rogue nuclear nation. Yeah. Um, he, he wants attention, and they better get him some let's attention. Let's hope that's all quick. he wants, to be you know? fair, you know. Yeah, well. Mm, that's, 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 that's about as... as good as you can spin that just to be you know that he just wants attention just to i know i agree but do you see what i'm saying there could be could start want to start nuclear war too to put things in context of i can't frame it any way better than he wants some attention do you know what i'm saying that's the, almost the the best possible frame of light to put that in firing a new, you know you get what i'm saying oh yeah <laughs> that's yeah. it yeah. it is there's no better way to frame that so that's like the best possible scenario is that he's just looking for some attention Hopefully. Yeah. I right, listen, man. It's 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 pretty intense. There's no doubt. Yeah. Um, quad. So let's go over to the Dow. The Dow uh, hit another all-time high out here this morning on the open. Got up to uh, twenty-two thousand two fifty-two. Uh, the strength inside the Dow out here today, um, point-wise, is that uh, you get Boeing putting thirteen positive points. Apple twelve. Three M six taken away from it. Goldman. 14 negative IBM 6, uh, Visa FOA inside the NDX 100. You get, uh, whoops, good old NVIDIA. NVIDIA's on the move again, man. NVIDIA's up 4.2%. Um, Henry Schein is up 3.8. Uh, you got uh, Western Digital up 1.9. Taken away from it, Norwegian Cruise Line's down 3.5. You get Myland Pharmaceutical off 2.6. Citrix is off two. Citrix is interesting because Citrix is a supplier. Ooh, I guess they, maybe they're not a supplier of Apple anymore. <laughs> That's okay, pretty wild. Not sure. Yeah, 87 to 75. So Citrix has some problems here. Let's look at this for a second. Okay, well, it's coming into some strength here from, it's at February, $70, and the top is 76. If we go over to Apple and we do take a look at Apple, So Apple's gonna bounce out here today up a buck seventy-five. Let's put this on a weekly. I'm curious to see how that's gonna lay out. Okay, well, you know, we'll see where this shakes out by the end of the uh, day out here today. If you get a close, realistically, you get a close over one fifty-six sixty-five. It's still saying you're in the top or you're in a better right, the higher range. Where I'm going with that? That's the the range that I traded in in May, May to June. 
877-927-6648. And folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, great time to do it. Come over to our website at TFNN. You'll see the banner on the top of the side. You can hit the banner, bring up the exchange. They'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account. You can um, walk along with us as we trade these defined option contracts. September 30th, two weeks from tomorrow. That's right, man. We're going to be in Boston, growling and prowling. Beautiful Boston, beautiful fall weather. End, end of September. Yeah, come visit us. Uh, Get it up here. We're going to uh, do a, a live workshop. Uh, it's sponsored by Nadex, so they're picking up the tab. We appreciate them picking up the tab for all of us, uh, including all the tigers and tigresses. Uh, the workshop is going to start. It's at the Boston Marriott, which is in Burlington, Mass., Great place. There's free parking, which is huge. Yeah, it's easy. We've done it. It's, yeah. it's kind of right by the Burlington Mall, if right. people are familiar with that area. Right. Wow. You know, so you can get there from Rhode Island, you get there from Maine. But, you know. And Massachusetts. Oh, course, <laughs> no, Massachusetts. no, no, no. Right. But South Shore, yeah. it's easy. Right. You know, that's right. for sure. Yeah. Uh, we start at 7.30, 8.45, Continental Breakfast. Uh, then there's going to be welcome remarks by our man, Mr. Dan Cook from Nadex. Tommy's going to be up there introducing the binaries and the spreads. I'm going to be on for 90 minutes. I'm going to be talking uh, quality volume, uh, cause and effect, the ABC structures, swing points, and testing. And as, as, as we've been saying all week, the testing is never ending at these highs. Definitely. Uh, we'll have a coff coffee break. I almost sounded like I was in New York then. Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Remember Mike Snowden? That's, his, that was a, that's the... Is it Brooklyn he's from? No. No, Long Island. Well, Long I remember I, SNL. Jay. Coffee talk. Yeah, yeah that's right, good. right. Coffee talk. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, Daryl Martin's going to be up for another uh, 90 minutes, and then Daryl and I are going to take uh, another 45 minutes of questions. So check it out on the front page of TFNN. Come visit us, folks. Okay, that's going to be a great educational session. And your presentation, you're always tying it into real charts. It's not just kind of a PowerPoint that you break out. You know, right. you're looking at real charts, right. kind of current, stuff like that. Oh, so yeah. It should be good. It's got to be current, man. It's got to be current. That's Look right. at this market, man. This market is current. This market just won't give it up. And uh, How about Oracle? That's one of the stocks giving it up. Yeah, it did. Oracle um, came out with their earnings. Came out with numbers last night. That, that's down 321. Yeah, big number. I yeah. Mean, in terms of what they're down for. Oh, exactly, man. Yeah. And uh, let's see. I'm Weak sure. sales forecast rattles investors. Yeah. Yeah. So Oracle fell the most in more than two years after disappointing second quarter sales forecast signals that increasing competition is cutting their demand for cloud-based software and services. Revenue from the cloud products will rise 41 to 45 percent in the current period a slowdown from the 51% gain it posted in fiscal first quarter. It must be quarter. a tough life when you tell the market you're going up 40% on revenue in the cloud, and they say, that is not enough, man. I, well, you know, this is what happened with, to me last night. So I was reporting on these numbers, right? And the numbers basically didn't seem that bad. Sure. Um, and then I says, wow, man, it's amazing that they're growing like this, right? Yeah. But then I brought up the sales, and watch what's happening is that, so they're losing some part of the business and growing another. Sure. Because when you go back like seven years, you know, you're almost at the same number. Now, 2017, 37.9 billion, 2013, 37.3 billion, you know? And yeah. so I don't know which one it is, whether it's the hardware or the sales, but the cloud is giving them the business. That's, Definitely. That's, and so. Well, you can just see, here's your three-year. That's down. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. Know, right. Nine percent. Right. 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 So they're shrinking yeah. the hardware. Who's buying hardware? Nobody. Guess why? Right. Because you're putting it all in the cloud. Yeah. I mean, that's the simple. You know. Yeah. Nobody totally. buys service because you just pay Amazon. You pay. You don't pay Oracle. I guess you pay Amazon. Right. right. Or you pay Microsoft. Right. Yeah. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Dow is up thirteen. Nasdaq's flat. S and P's are up three and a half. We're gonna be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Thank you.
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials are uh, up 18. You get the NASDAQ up four. S&Ps are down uh, two. Um, you know, you get option expiration. We had the uh, S&P cash expire on the open. Uh, on the close here, we're going to have the, the futures, the options um, expire. And, uh, you know, bottom line is that uh, we'll see whether you get any volatility. We, we certainly haven't yet. Yeah, pretty um, calm market on Friday morning so far. Yeah, yeah. no doubt. Uh, some of the uh, higher volume... Um, well, it's only 10 o'clock, 10.30 in the morning. This is the highest volume at this particular point. You have uh, Advanced Micro is up 29 cents. You get Oracle down 325. Uh, NVIDIA, oh, look at that number, man. Yeah. We're, we're going to pull that up. They're getting some good upgrades having to do with AI, artificial intelligence, machine learning. Yeah. Mr. Dave White, maybe he'll have something to talk about this afternoon having to do with that. Um, and look at that. It's breaking out again. Yep. Uh, 174.56 <laughs> is the number. Uh, that little baby, talking, that was light volume. They're 18 million. They've already done 10 million. You know, so that's that's got action again, man. If if this thing decides to run again, the last run on this was pretty amazing. I mean, it just keep pulling it back if yeah. you can, because that graph we're looking at doesn't even do it justice. There I, you go. Exactly. <laughs> Look at this. So 24 dollars in 2016. 24 dollars. Yeah. Wow. Up to 175. Yep. Not bad. No, that's intense. It is. Is that the beginning of the run? Yeah, that's the beginning of the run. 2016. Yep. About a year and a half, you know? Yeah. Almost two years, you can call it, but not quite. Right. A year and a half, yeah. Uh, Bitcoin. Oh, boy. So, uh, a lot of publicity on Bitcoin this morning. And this is this is a classic, too, folks, okay? You know, uh, they everyone writes the obituary on Bitcoin, and guess what? You know, you get down to 29.75, and now we're 35. 85. You 600 know. points off of that, right. which is 20% move off the low this morning. Yeah. And there's a, there's a, there's a gap that's open. Now, the gap, 2877 would be the top of it when you actually look at the actual gap. Um, and we missed that by about $90. Uh, 
If you take the uh, 29, 24, you still miss that too. But that, this thing's going to bounce. This thing, yeah. now this thing can go to 4,098 in a heartbeat, man. You know what's interesting about those gaps? Just keep in mind, though, Bitcoin might be trading over the weekend as to how that's priced, but this is just a, a Friday to a Monday creates a gap on any of these charts, possibly, right. because they have exchanges that I'm pretty sure they don't have exchange hours like most trade you know that's that right. bitcoin does trade kind right of 24 hours a day right so i think what happens is you can see the gaps all over it and i think that's just a friday to a monday gap You're right um yeah when there's some big movement but that's a volatile volatile instrument that's for sure yeah from and five thousand down to three thousand back up to thirty six hundred in no right. time yeah right and you know the uh, yeah and it, it's not over it's, 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 What'll you know. be interesting to see is I think you know cryptocurrencies are here to stay. Blockchain is definitely here to stay. The question is whether Bitcoin is the one that will be here to stay. Yeah, a lot of them right now, uh, they're even the the cryptocurrencies they're working off Bitcoin though, right? That's is that a question or a statement? Because <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, that, I don't a, think so. That's a question. I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. My understanding is that. See these uh, these other currencies. Let me see. So well, the to, SEC, put it, to put it real quickly, Ethereum, if I'm correct, correctly pronouncing it, is the other one that's been making a lot of headwaves. Yeah, and that has nothing to do with Bitcoin, as far as I know. No, that's that's right. That's so right. So its biggest competitor has nothing to do with Bitcoin. And you know, when you look at how Ethereum is kind of organized, it can allow for more functionality. It can allow for more processing at the same time like bitcoin has this one limitation and this is where you saw the bitcoin cash uh break away from bitcoin when they just did that whether it was a couple weeks ago I remember where they had the split off from bitcoin cash split off and that had to do with people within the bitcoin kind of community yeah, yeah they they want it to succeed like a currency right and bitcoin can only facilitate i believe it's seven transactions per second right now okay that's nowhere near what you need to be able to do for it to actually right. infiltrate what they need and ethereum can and that bitcoin cash now can but that didn't catch any head waves so you know how is a currency that can only you know handle yeah. seven transactions a second With ever billions make of people head waves world. across the world right. um so there's there's a lot there there is there's a lot but We'll see what happens. We're going to be talking about it for a while. We apparently. will. That is for sure. Let's go take a look at the good old King Dollar. So we have Friday, uh, and Fridays, folks, uh, inside the metal market, you know, basically you can always um, count on some volatility. So today we'll see, uh, you know, the King Dollar get down to 91.36. You're at 91.530 right now. Uh, we'll see if we can catch a bid, you know. I, my take is that it's going to basically catch a bid uh, and get out of here. So we'll we'll see how that shakes out. It hasn't done it yet, that's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> it's laying at these lows, hanging. If we go to the gold contract, we take a look at gold. Um, gold out here, you're at thirteen twenty six, and yeah, they just jammed it down there with volume. So gold to me can go right down to this thirteen nineteen. 1317. Sure. We were there 24 hours ago. <laughs> yeah. And if we look at, let me see if I can find the story because, you know, what, what you have out here too, um, and it's not that it's been under the radar, but the, the, the price manipulation that was done um, with the LIBOR rate. Okay. Well, now they, they all, and this has been going on for about a year, I believe. They, there's, there's a couple bankers that they have, they get the price manipulation for gold, the silver, market also that that went on like for three and a half years okay um, how are they doing that do you know we'll have to pull it up they 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 do it they were doing it right out of the, the pit basically the the big deal is okay. because it's it's a small market do you okay. know what I mean um, the thing that's intriguing about that is that it seems that all large operators I mean if they can if you can basically fix the foreign currency market. You can fix any market, Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> I mean, because the LIBOR market is so huge. The, the silver market, gold market is tiny compared to the LIBOR market, you know? So um, we'll see where that shakes out. But that seems to be it. Like, it's getting closer to discovery. Okay. You know, these things take four or five years. Do you know what I mean? A year is nothing uh, once they indict someone. And, of course, there's another banker. We'll see uh, how that shakes out. 
It's a, in this case, it was a UBS banker. So do you see this, that uh, Alphabet's going to be investing possibly a billion dollars into Lyft? Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, a, that's a market that's always uh, volatile itself. And, you know, Uber's going through their transition with some difficulties for sure. Lyft hasn't made any headway. Have you used Lyft yet? I have not. Okay. I have it on, I think I have it on my phone. I'm not sure. I downloaded it at one point. Yeah. Um, but it's funny, you become a creature of habit, right? When something becomes that easy, as in, you know, you right. get set up with Uber, it's that easy. Right. Um, but like anything else, there's room for competition. And Oh, there is. You know, I, I haven't used it yet. War. But I know that a couple drivers that I was with, they had asked me, have I had used it? Most drivers will do both. They do both. Why not? Right. You know, right. If, if you. You know, if you're looking for a customer, oh, yeah. why not right. do both? Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, is up 24. NASDAQ is up 4. S&Ps are down 2. You have the gold off uh, 320. And light sweet crude, flat, $49.87. We're going to be right back, folks. If you're looking to open your portfolio to a world of opportunity, consider the new market-safe emerging currency CD from Everbank. This three-year U.S. dollar-denominated CD gives you exposure to five equally weighted currencies from Brazil, China, India, Indonesia, and Turkey at a time when experts see great potential for global growth. Even better, it features a 7.0 leverage factor, which means you could earn a potential market upside payment of seven times the CD's performance at maturity with no cap if the currencies increase in value over the CD's term. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. The September 28th funding deadline will be here before you know it. So call 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a division of TIAA, FSB, member FDIC. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now up 23. You get the NASDAQ uh, up 4. S&Ps are down 2, basically flat. 
Uh, gold contract off four dollars and forty cents. Uh, King dollar, King dollar down at three seventy two. So it's picked up a couple hundred uh, points uh, since this morning. Let's go over to the bond market and take a look at the ten year. So uh, the yield on the ten year right now two point two. Uh, so that's that's got that's got high in the last week. Not high, but you yeah. know we're I mean, at two point zero. You know you can just see this little chart right here is a nice little illustration. I don't know if they yeah. can see it there, but you know that's quite a little spike up when you see that right um, in those yields for sure. And so for the last uh, yeah, last six months, lows two point zero three nine, highs two point five. Yeah, it's almost near the middle. Yeah, and then if we go for the year. Yeah. 1.55, yeah. quite a low. There's no doubt, man. That's <laughs> that's pretty intense. Seriously. Uh, let's go over and we take a look at uh, Walmart. So let's see. So Walmart, let's stay in flat. That's, uh, well, 79, yeah. 96. The King, Amazon, <laughs> uh, backing down a bit. Amazon got a nice bid on Tuesday, yeah. uh, Wednesday. No, they're doing well, hovering around that $1,000 price point. And, that, you know, the thing that's wild now is that we're going to start talking about the holiday season. So, sure. you know, sure. we're talking about getting ramped up. Now, what's intriguing, folks, is that when you look at the United Parcel chart versus the FedEx chart, um, the United Parcel is not as healthy um, at, well, <laughs> I was like, I'm waiting for, it's for the, why that's not a healthy yeah, chart as no, it goes that's, straight up that's, from 2009. It is. <laughs> 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 that's, yeah, that's, okay, so that's still at highs. So it's consolidating at highs. Okay, let me bring this up, though. That's the 15th. Let me see. FDX. Maybe, sure. it's, just, maybe it's just the opposite. It maybe. might be the opposite. Yeah, it might be. Hmm. Yeah, no. They've both it, been doing well. Well, th th this is what the difference was. Okay. Is that the FedEx did break the consolidation. It's the same number, and, sure. and UPS hasn't yet. You know, so 183 sure. was the consolidation. That's 214. How much are those companies worth? Can you just go to the description? Yeah. So market FedEx cap? is... 57 billion. Imagine that. UPS is 101 billion. Yeah. yeah. Wonder when Amazon decides to buy one of them or just cut them out of the picture. Yeah, I know, <laughs> right? Yeah. So the revenue on UPS is 64 billion. Just look at though their growth from 2016 and 2017 versus 2017 to 2018. You know, it's it's they had quite a year from 2016 to 17, almost four billion dollars in growth. Yeah. And you know they're not going to have that same amount of growth. They're going to have you know maybe 3.3 billion, um, which is still good. But you know Amazon is growing so oh. why aren't they growing at least right. as fast as they grew last year right and maybe amazon's using u.s postal service a little more i'm and not sure at, you know the, now but same with both them. of them yeah 10 million from here and only three billion from there um, so yeah, yeah so amazon that's when they stop buying those planes you right, know that's it yeah yep. i mean you know we'll see right because in some of the other other countries they had already started talking about where Amazon has kind of shipping capabilities and they're using other companies to use their shipping capabilities. Remember they started talking about that? And I right. forget what countries it was. But Building the infrastructure. Exactly. That's what, that's what, that's he what they're is good at. They phenomenal. Have, they have all those servers. You know, they have the server farms, the cloud. Um, there's probably no reason why they need to be funneling so much money into a company like UPS. Wait, well, um, it's got to. You be know, they have to have discussions about it, right? Totally. To say why are we allowing UPS to double their market cap in the last year and a right. half or whatever it is? Right. Um, right. Yeah. There's, there's no doubt. They look at the outlay and they say, okay, hold it. We're going to cut 10% this year, 10% next year. We're going to use it for ourselves. See how it goes. Right. Goes well. Guess what? All of a sudden, bang. They just, should. They should be the biggest shipping company in the country. Um, right. And then, just like you saw with the clouds, right? So, the only reason they started the cloud is because they need it themselves. So guess what? You know, they will build out the shipping for themselves and right. then they'll just start charging other people too. And that'll be they'll be the UPS that'll provide for themselves and then they'll provide for everybody else. That's intense. Good luck to UPS and FedEx. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. man. Well, you it, and that well, that gets interesting and I guess is that that whole thing about Samsung making the um, screens for yeah, Apple. The OLED screens, yeah. yeah. That's like pretty intense, man. It is. You know? It is. It's like, I guess 
with only two, I mean, those are the two big suppliers anyway, right? You know, they so, are, but like yeah. you say, I mean, you don't, you know, I heard you having a great discussion with Dave White, I think that yeah. might have been last week, or, but, uh, you know, talking about you don't want to have the issue where one, one company you're relying on, you know, right. one point of fault or whatever the actual term yeah. was. Um, and especially when that point that could screw up everything is your biggest competitor. <laughs> because, you know, not even that they'll do nefarious things, but it's not nefarious to say, guess what, we're not going to sell them to you anymore because we're going to keep them for ourselves. Right. And we're going to And if there's only, yeah. Uh, you know. And we know through the, the aspect of these large companies, folks, they'll break contracts and fight you in court forever. Yeah. You know, I mean, we've seen, that's, that's just we've seen of, the patent deals right. with lawsuits. Right. Um, and for something like that, fighting over the the best technology in mobile phones, that's worth a battle in court right. to, to have the most up-to-date. Just hang it up. Right. You know, right. Hang it up for a while. I mean, what's Apple going to do in terms of, you know, you're going to sue them, but guess what? You sue them for a year. You're, you're, you're lost <laughs> in a year. My God. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go take a look at uh, Goldman out here. So uh, Goldman Sachs, uh, down a buck 81. Uh, let's see. It didn't, it didn't make the, the 230 this time. 230 has been the number. Uh, that it just hasn't been able to handle. Yeah, quite a little range, huh? From 210 to yeah. about 230 since yeah. April, right? May, March, yeah. And uh, it moves a lot, man. There's no doubt. I mean, this yeah. has been moving the Dow around in a huge way. Yeah. Let's go to J.P. Morgan and take a look at J.P. Morgan. That's pushing, you know, into a swing. Not much action there. Diamond's got to love the action in Bitcoin after he came out and slammed oh, it. Yeah. And China comes out and slams it right afterwards. And no, no doubt, no doubt. Uh, and, you know, <laughs> let's just go back to Bitcoin for a second, because sure. this is, yeah, so what a spread on price today. That is, yeah, 29.75 to almost 3,600, 35.98. Yep. And if, that, if, we were just, if we were just looking at a normal chart, so watch, let's go like this, let's say, from the whole run, well, we'll do two different things. I want to do the retracement from this last leg. The retracement from the last leg, oh, look at that, 0.618. That's crazy. <laughs> so what that would mean, folks, is that the retracement from the last leg, which started in July at $1,852, that does mean that it's weak, okay? And, you know, if, you just, if we just took the Fibonacci, you know, basically theory, that would say this is neat week, and that's saying it won't break its high the next time up. But it doesn't mean that you, you can't go all the way up and then pull back again and do it. Um, but that's also saying it's not broken. <laughs> sure. Uh, now, let's get rid of that one. Okay, so let's see. And then I want to take the whole leg. So if we take the, let me see, I'll put this... Look at that. So I'll take the whole leg. So you stay right there. Ta Tommy and I are going to be coming right back, folks. Uh, I'll take it from there, I think. Almost 50, yeah? Yeah, and that's a normal retracement for sure. going back a couple of years. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n-a-d-e-x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien has just announced that he'll be coming to Boston September 30th for a free workshop, The Art of Timing the Trade.
Join Tom O'Brien Saturday morning, September 30th at the Boston Marriott in Burlington, Massachusetts as he breaks down his trading methodology and provides you with the tools to become a more successful and profitable trader. Everyone that attends in person will receive a free signed copy of Tom's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. Daryl Martin from Apex Investing Institute will also be presenting for 90 minutes at this free event. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. Join me in Boston on September 30th as I return to my hometown for a workshop about the art of timing the trade. I look forward to seeing all the tigers and tigresses for this special free event. All action starts early at 7.30 a.m. with a continental breakfast and wraps up at about 1 p.m. Topics that Tom will be covering during his presentation include quality volume, cause and effect, ABC structures, swing points, and much, much more. For all the information on this free Boston event taking place Saturday, September 30th, visit the front page of TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget. You can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go to Charlie in uh, Wellesley, Mass. Hey, Charlie, what's going on? Hi, Tom. It's Tony from Wellesley. Tony, what's happening? I, so. I, I saw too. I know. And I said, Tony, what's happening? I don't know man? how we got Charlie out of Tony, man. <laughs> wow, well, that's okay. Hey. How you been, you man? You make mistakes. You couldn't afford them, you know? <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> that's <is> funny. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I don't have any silver right now in my portfolio. I know it's kind of high. I could possibly pull back, but I like to scale in. Would you scale in a little bit now? Okay, so let's take a look at it. You want to look at the SLV, right? Yeah, I love that. Okay, so this is and the... Andy's, Andy's kind of saying it's a tally wound coil, you know? Yeah, no, I I, I, I get it. That, that's, uh, I'm in Mr. Andy Heck, who does the Commodities Hour, folks, every Tuesday, Thursday, 5 to 6 Eastern Standard Time. Um, so you get the SLV trading at $16.66. You know, we had the high last week, 1714. You're coming yeah. into, yeah, you know, you can bite here. I mean, you're, you're coming yeah. down. I, I suspect, you know, this can get to $16.28, but that's still only like 40 cents lower. Yeah. yeah. You, you're, you're coming down. What can you to, see it going up to? I would say the next run is 1759. Where I'm going with that, Tony, is April 13th, the swing high of April 13th. You know, okay. this was a nice run. It went from 1444 to 1714. Quite a run. Yeah. A normal, you know, retracement brings it back to a breakout area. That's 1621. That's where it broke topside from. Uh, you are coming back with really light volume, and that's what you want, man. This is a good day today. This is light volume. Um, okay. Yeah. I mean, if you go a third, a third, a third, something like that, you know, you get 16.64, you go to 16.44, and then the 16.20 or 16.10, yeah, 16.10 yeah. to 16.20. Yeah, that, that'll even you out at uh, 16.30. Yeah, 40.30. Right, yeah. right. Good. And one last question, gentlemen, please. I think oil's good for the long term, too. Do you? Uh, let's look at it. I think oil, you know, it, it, it definitely wants to push into, the, well, my take is it wants to push into, well, it's pushing into the 50 again as it's trading 50 right now. Um, you know, it came in here with good volume. I mean, it, it took the swing point out, did it with volume. Uh, now, what that sets up, 
is that that would set up, you know, a run to 52-53. I mean, I don't see, yeah. you know, we'll, we'll see whether it's bigger than that. And, and what we don't know, and this is what's important to wrap your head around, is that between Javi and between Irma, yeah. you know, you had two of the largest states in the country get hit, Florida and Texas. So the supply shocks, you know, very well can be pushing that around right now. It's you such know? a fundamental yeah. game. Right. I struggle to wrap yeah. my head around it just because, you know, you had gasoline spiking enormously, right? And you had crude kind of no action off those storms, but that's right. because there was such a build in the gas and the refineries were shut down. Right. Um, and then just even further, Tony, Tony, that it's tough to wrap my head around the fundamental aspect of where electric cars are going to be and, and renewable yeah. energy. And so in the long haul, I'm not sure about two years down the road, you know, I'm just, that's, yeah. it's just not the same as when oil back in, you know, 2009 really took a dive, then it was going to rebound, you know, there, was, there yeah. wasn't electric cars about still, to take It was only 28 the bucks, too. Yeah, right. right, it was a different right. game, like I would have been super bullish at that time, I was, but this is a different game, maybe $50 oil with, you know, electric cars about to be everywhere. You know, what's going to happen when Tesla comes out with that Model 3 and everybody starts taking delivery of $40,000 cars that don't need gas? Yeah. Just, yeah. just keep well, that in mind. You, you know, know what will be interesting is that one of the Tigers brought up in the den that uh, if in Florida, if we had all electric cars, no one could have got anywhere, you know, meaning out of the state. So that's going to sure. be, you know, but that's not the rest of the country either. And, you know, I can picture, you know, people having an electric car and, you know, having something else. You know, because when that was brought up, I says, wow, that's interesting, man. You yeah. know, the, the station's getting filled up, you know, and we'll see whether that will be on the table. Um, I suspect after the storm, I just said to Tommy, I was looking at Genrac, do you know what I mean? This was such a large storm of all of Florida, I can picture them, you know, everyone even tightening down more. It's going to be on your, yeah. I yeah. said, I'm going to look at getting um, right. flood insurance, even though right. I'm not in the flood zone, because yeah. guess what? It's so cheap. Everybody, you should really consider it if you're anywhere near the water. Right. If we ever got a Category 5 that rolled in right in the wrong direction, and guess what? We were really close this time. Oh, okay? totally, man. So it's not out of the realm. <laughs> yeah. You own your house for a 30-year mortgage. Right. You know, run that scenario, you know, guess what? We just had three enormous hurricanes in the span of three weeks. Run yeah. that scenario over 30 years. There's going to be some close calls, right. and flood insurance is so cheap if you're not in a flood zone. Right. So it might be worth right. it, and that just speaks to what you're talking about. Right. Maybe it's worth it to buy a generator, too. Right. Because for right. the risk-reward, no, it's worth it. Sure. Like our man Nico, I know, he's he's he's, he's all hooked up with a generator. Right. He, they're talking about he had two propane tanks filling him up, 250 pounds of propane, whatever right. it is. So yeah. you see, you know, I'm sure he's he's well-versed in how um, oh, he is. that he, reward was worth it. I was working out on this morning. Very nice. And, and what is, what's interesting there is that he definitely, so he had 500. Uh, I think he had two 250-pound tanks, right? He did. Yeah. So he had 500. That was 1000 bucks to fill up. Okay. And he was so worried that he had to get a, you know, a new Refilled. supply. Sure. But he's getting it today. Okay. And, you know, I just got a, a text. So, yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, so picture this, folks. I'm on the air. I got I to gotta run home right after this is over. We're still dealing with stuff. I mean, yeah. Unfortunately, I have power I, Tampa. I still don't have Tampa's power. Tampa's been... And kind of better than Pinellas because yeah. we seem to have all power. They're still dealing with getting power back on. Al, our man in the studio, he didn't have power till yesterday. He's back on. You don't have power yet. Right. They got but at trucks least in front of your house as we speak. In front of my house. That's a beautiful thing, man. Uh, but well, that, thank you. That yeah, that that's not the story. The story is is that my generator. I don't have a. I have a gasoline generator. And the cord just broke. Yeah, there was. So I got to go home and off. get a. If I can. Hopefully it's right in time, man. Hopefully yeah, the electricity hopefully is on, and then it's yeah. time to buy a new generator. I think for you. Oh, just the cord, right? Oh, I, no, no, I'm getting a generator. To buy a new yeah. Generator. Oh no, they're gonna kill me that I don't have one. Anyway. He said yeah. it was tested, folks. But guess what? It yeah. wasn't tested. Come the morning after the storm. Hey, it worked for five days, didn't it? It did after we went and got oil and then figured out how to start it. Yeah. Right? Right, Some yeah. of those things get done before the storm, but that's okay. Sure. Well, thank <laughs> you, Tom. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. God bless. Okay, God bless man. You, man. Have a great one. Have a safe Come one. Come on, I got to be able to give you a little grief, folks. You should have seen it. Morning after the storm, folks, we had no oil for it, and we didn't know how to start it. Did it get Living going? the life, man. Did it get going? How long did it take? An hour? Who, who figured out how to start it? You did. Okay. But Who said they tested it before the storm? I did. I got it going. Yeah, for like four seconds. Well, I, I was going. I turned it off. Yeah. Oof. Wanted to save it. Oh. Had it in my garage save forever. It, save it. Save all that stress for the morning when nothing's working.
<laughs> man, oh, love man. It. Thankfully, we got it working though. No matter what. Yeah. Exactly. Oh my God. I'm hey, telling if you. We man. didn't figure that out. And it wouldn't, yeah. we wouldn't be laughing. You wouldn't be laughing oh, right now. Exactly. Yeah. I'm. I'm close to crying. I bet. That's the longest Friday, man. That was Monday. Oof. Full week. I'm just talking about all week. No, that's what I'm saying. That was that. It's Friday, which is amazing. And that was Monday morning. We woke up. Was it's it a full week? Yeah. Wow. It is. But guess what? Hey, electric. It's coming right back. Your house, baby. Oh, I, I won't even believe it. Turn on it's that coming for you. It is. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. And uh, the market went to Sherwin Williams again. They just they just buy green paint, man. That's all they do. <laughs> it's and, and it's probably it's a probably highly leaded green paint, like the Mystic River Bridge used to be. Oh boy. Yeah, totally. I guess so. <laughs> whatever that. What are we talking about? Uh, there's plenty of our listeners that know that. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m., followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade. Think or Swim. Next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks, and uh, not quite sure what we just uh, what just uh, transpired in the NDX, but we'll find out. Let's take a look at this. Uh, NQZ7. To the moon. This just went to the moon. Look what just happened. To the moon. Okay, so we just went from uh, 5967 to 60... 6,015. You can't even keep track of it. It's going far higher so fast. Right. <laughs> so let me see this yeah, for a second. You're talking about 45, 46 points, almost uh, two-thirds of a percent higher. NVIDIA leading the way. That's that's up. That was only up 3 or 4% when we looked at it first. Now it's up $10. Look at that. Amazing. Yeah. 
Amazing. And Q, let me see this. That is absolutely amazing. That is as intense as you can get. What a spike. So we just spiked, let's see. So when we started the program, we were at 59.67. Yeah, so you, 47 points we went up. Yeah, that's and, like two-thirds of a, uh, excuse me, almost three-quarters of a percent. Yeah, not bad. So uh, let's look at the, uh, that would say that we're definitely at highs, new, new all-time highs. Oh, almost, look at that, 146.58. 146.58. We're above it. The high today, 146.59 by half a penny. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Right? Yep. Yep. yep, exactly. Wow. Half a penny, new highs in the queues. Unreal. <laughs> you stay right there, folks, because we got uh, swim lessons coming up next, uh, live from uh, Chicago. And, of course, then we're going to go to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, uh, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. And um, guess what? They, uh, they nailed it. Uh, we'll see if they, uh, they can hold it. If we go to the composite, let's look at the composite and see if the composite did it also. Composite up here. Not quite, huh? Composite 64.60. Oh, 64.60.84. 64.60. 08. 26. 26. Hasn't made it. Hasn't made it. What's wrong with it? Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien has just announced that he'll be coming to Boston September 30th for a free workshop, The Art of Timing the Trade. Join Tom O'Brien Saturday morning, September 30th at the Boston Marriott in Burlington, Massachusetts as he breaks down his trading methodology and provides you with the tools to become a more successful and profitable trader. Everyone that attends in person will receive a free signed copy of Tom's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. Daryl Martin from Apex Investing Institute will also be presenting for 90 minutes at this free event. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. Join me in Boston on September 30th as I return to my hometown for a workshop about the art of timing the trade. I look forward to seeing all the tigers and tigresses for this special free event. All action starts early at 7.30 a.m. with a continental breakfast and wraps up at about 1 p.m. Topics that Tom will be covering during his presentation include quality volume, cause and effect, ABC structures, swing points, and much, much more. For all the information on this free Boston event taking place Saturday, September 30th, visit the front page of TFNN.com.